Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We glorify you for bringing us to this day. Thank you for preserved life. Thank you for your grace and for your anointing. You have been our help in ages past. You are our hope for years to come. Lord, we hold everything to you. Father, Lord, as we encourage ourselves with this word, progressing from the crossroad of life, part two, Lord, give us the vision of our tomorrow. Help us, O Lord, to remain firm and confident in your will. Help us to arise and to shine. Glory, honor be unto you. I pray for divine inoculation, divine perfection, divine manifestation, that none on that day sound of my voice shall miss it. All shall be built up. Your glory shall be revealed in the life of everyone. Desires of every parent, every brother, every sister shall be fully met. Lord, we glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. People of God, I want to encourage you that no matter what you are going through, please do not lose hope. There is difference between not having the right perspective and losing hope. That anything that confronts us, our perspective about it may be different. But let us not lose hope. Because we have a God that rules in the affairs of men. Last week, we started part one of progressing from the crossroad of life. Life has challenges. And crossroad comes unannounced. We get to the point whereby we do not know how to proceed. We have tried everything in our power. But it seems like there's a blockage. But there's a God that knows you and knows the crossroad before it happens. I love what Psalm 48 said. He said, God is beautiful for situation. No matter what, God is beautiful for situation. Last week, we introduced with Jeremiah 6.16. Jeremiah 6.16. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient path. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. And you will find rest for your souls. But you said... We will not walk in it. So the reason for many problems is not because God has stopped shepherding. It's not because God has stopped guiding us. It's because we believe in our own instinct. Instinct is different from discernment. We want to do our own thing, our own way, our own time. And God said, I still rule. In the affairs of men. We also said that psyche cannot help you. They will only confuse you. When you go to an herbalist or a psychic, at least the one I saw from uh, Niger Wood, Nollywood, herbalist will make you speak on your money. They will bring your money out, speak on it. And then give it to them. What you have just done, you are just giving them your pin number. You are just giving them the right and access to your spirit. Your money that you brought from your own wallet represents your labor, your effort. You surrender to the devil. You now speak on it. So your decree is now being captured by the enemy. And you now say, tell me my future. They will tell you your future. Only that they will, they will put all the rubbles, all the difficulties in it. Psyche cannot help you. The Bible said, God himself said, the people of this world, the children of this world, they are wiser in their own ways than the children of God. They are more disciplined. 
they are more regimental. Joyce Myers was sharing, traveling somewhere. It's a long distance travel, about 10 hours or so. They brought the first meal. The person next to her did not eat. Second meal, she did not eat. So she now asked, oh, Ma'am, aren't you hungry? This is a long flight. The lady said, We are fasting for 30 days. She said, What church do you belong to? No, I don't belong to a church. I belong to a witchcraft <laughs> organization. The people of this world, they are more disciplined, more regimental than the people of God. My brother, my sisters, God has given us insight in the word that is in the Bible. If you do not familiarize yourself with the truth, you will fall for any lies. We also said that life presents a choice, especially at the crossroads. We use the example of Jonathan. Jonathan was a very close friend, a brother, actually, from that woman's womb to David. They had a covenant. It was a spiritual covenant. But then Jonathan also had a relationship with daddy, King Saul. King Saul, in his rage, was angry with Jonathan. That he cursed him, calling him the name he had never named him when he was born. There was a battle, and it was getting very tough. King Saul told every soldier, nobody should hit, everybody should fast. Jonathan was not there. So, and Jonathan did exploit. He fought gallantly. And uh, he refreshed himself with honey, comb. And King Saul said that he executed his own son. But the soldier royal says, no, sir. He was not there when he gave the command. And there was no WhatsApp. There was no social media for him to know where he was. If you have that knowledge about the father, why should you go with that man to the battlefront and die? Because the choice that Jonathan made at the critical moment caused his only son, Mephibosheth, to be lame. Nurse was running, thinking that David is coming to take over and kill everybody. So the nurse had a reason to run. She fell in that pandem pandemonium. Sir, ma'am, Bible said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the future of our faith. The one that you gaze upon is the one that you look like. If you gaze upon trouble that the devil has caused, you will be confused. And the devil knows how to give depression. He knows how to give disappointment. Every bad deed, the devil knows it. He has so many as none of that deeds. But when you look unto Jesus, the one that is beautiful situation, the one that can reverse the irreversible, it will be well with you. God has never run out of an option to take care of you. Praise the Lord. Sir, as we go into this second section, I want you to know that no matter where you are, God has the GPS. He has navigation at two to get you out of it. The Bible said, do not worry about the fiery trial that is about to tempt you. Fiery trial. Those are very difficult words. They are like when you pass through the valley of the shadow of death. I don't like valley. I don't like shadow. I don't like death. But he said, the Lord is with you. He said, do not worry about the fiery trial that is about to beset you. But God will make a way out of it. There is a way of escape. <laughs> There is a way of escape. Each time you read the Bible, always visualize yourself being there. You understand. Children of Israel, they were at the Red Sea. Pharaoh's army at the back. Mountainous hill on both sides. Where would they run to? Ocean in the front. It's Red Sea. And this wicked army coming with the oof of their Horses. Trembling situation. 
They cried to Moses. Moses also cried to God. God said, why do you cry unto me? Tell them to move forward. Move forward into the ocean to go and drown. He said, no, I'm going to pack the rest for you. They walk on the dry land. That is the God that I serve. That is the God that I know. That is the God you must know. No matter where you are, you will move forward. You will move forward. It's never a God that gives us. He does not kill his wounded soldier. He always heals them. He's a God of encourager. Look at Elijah. After showing the glory of God on Mount Camel, he said, let us resolve this issue. Who is truly the God of Israel? Because people were worshiping Baal. He had married a strange woman, Jezebel. And he brought their gods and everything. And he changed the people's heart. Elijah said, all right, today will be the day. Let the God that answered by fire be the God. Nation at a crossroad, just like we are. In God we trust in this Christ, and God will show up for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Anarchy will not prevail. Theocracy will prevail. In the name of Jesus. And he made the worshiper of us to go first. They called upon their God. He did not answer. They started cutting their flesh. As if their blood can turn things around. Baal was still asleep. Elijah said, I give you more time. Call upon him whether he's on a tree. Maybe he has gone to vacation to Florida. Baal never responded. Elijah now told the damsel, go and fetch buckets of water. Make the world more difficult for God. Pour it. He sent them three times. The whole altar was filled with water. By the time Elijah called, God responded only one time. God, God did not do go on vacation. My God, your God does not sleep nor slumber. He answered, God will answer you. Amen. I said, God will answer you. You will have testimony upon this altar. Amen. You will have testimony. Amen. Isaiah 42, 16. Isaiah 42, 16. Isaiah 42, 16. I will lead the blind by a way they did not know. <laughs> I will guide them on unfamiliar paths. I will turn darkness into light before them and rough places into level ground. These things I will do for them. I will not forsake them. God will not forsake you. He will not forsake us. What looks like a challenge is beauty in disguise. God is setting us up. Many of us, we are blessed more than we were blessed even last year, 2019. Many of us, I know I am blessed in this pandemic. My wife is smiling better because she's also blessed in this pandemic. Amen. Miracle, we have never fought during this uh, lockdown. We have never fought. And I love to argue. I have no need to argue. I'm getting tired of not arguing. <laughs> Many of us are blessed in this pandemic than we have ever been blessed. That is the God that I serve. For this God is our God. He will be our guide. All to the end. That is God that we serve. He said that Isaiah 42, 16, I will lead the blind by a way they do not know. You and I are not even blind. If God can lead the blind, he will lead the one that can see. He will give you vision of hope. He will back you up with confidence. He will energize you. Amen. He will inoculate you. COVID-19 will see you and run away. Amen. He made his angel spirit. We his minister flames of fire. What is COVID-19 when you are a flame of fire? <laughs> what is COVID-19, coronavirus? A terrible disease with two names. If there's anything I agree with, President Donald Trump, it is still a Chinese virus. But it will not come near you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Isaiah 48, 17, Isaiah 48, 17 said, Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. We are spiritual Israel, spiritual Jew. Every Christian, we are under the banner of Abraham. I am the Lord your God, which is, which is his you for benefit. Who directs you in the way you should go? I am the Lord your God. Is still the I am that I am. Ever faithful, ever sure. <laughs> ever faithful, ever sure. All the time. He teaches us to profit. He leads us by the way we should go. Crossroad. All shall be well with you. Shall be well with us. The word of God says, you will hear the word behind you saying this is the way. Go journey. Whether you turn to the right or to the left. You will hear the word behind you. We have more to learn about God than we have ever come to know. Abraham, father of faith, was an idol worshiper. When he had God. Abraham, the, everybody believe in something in this time, in this season. Everybody believe in something. It is only the one that believe correctly are the one that believe in Jesus Christ. A man is always, a woman is always believing in something. Abraham was an idol worshiper when God said, leave thy kindred, leave thy city, leave your people. Go where I will take you. And from that day, he was continually listening and hearing from God. But he got to a crossroad when he was not hearing. Why? He took his nephew, the only son of his older brother, Lot, with him. So when God told him to leave, He's talking to him and Sarah, not to Lot. For many seasons, he never heard from God. Until Lot's servant and Abraham's servant were fighting because they have increased in blessings. Lot and Abraham never fought. It was their servant that were fighting. <laughs> so he told Lot, Lot, I think we have to split. I am done settling this foot. If you go west, I will go east. If you go east, I will go west. Because he knew the blessing reside in him. Lord, look for that nice pasture with waterized, riverized area. He said, I will go this way. Abraham said, okay. And he left. Immediately, Lord, the path God had. Who is that lot in your life? Who is that person you are holding grudge. Who is that person you have not forgiven? Because crossroads has to deal with God's direction. If you allow your spirit to be polluted, how can you hear from God? If Abraham can hear from God when he was an idol worshiper, you can hear from God because you are no longer an idol worshiper. Our forefathers may have worshipped idols, but you and I we are in the Christian dome. And Romans 8, verse 1 and 2 said, There is now therefore no condemnation to those that are in Christ. For the law of the Spirit in Christ has now transcended from over the law of sin. So we are justified. You must hear from God. You must be discerning. The more you study the Bible, the more you'll be discerning, not to even get into any situation. Abraham left. There was no send-up party for him. He left Nicodemusly. And today, he became blessed. What about you and I? If God said, leave America, go to Africa, you will say, this prophet is a bad prophet. If God were to say to some of us, go back to Nigeria, go back to the place where you came from, he will say, that man, something is wrong with him. Everybody is coming to America. You ask me to go back. 
But God has his own plan. We are all going to be at the crossroads of life, whether you like it or not. How will you hear from God? How will you respond? My cousin, a pastor with CAC, and a PhD holder from Boston University. Oh, I wish I had not even mentioned the university. But it's from an Ivy League school. What's World Bank Scholarship? He had finished his coursework. Great. Great point average was very high. He had gone to William College on that what <laughs> band scholarship. But when it comes to getting the one that will guide him um, for his PhD thesis, everybody was running away. Somebody now told him, go and join the lodge. We'll make life easy for you. He said, after this year of working with the Lord, go and join the Lord. He said, no. What goes on at the top, you never know. He stayed with his God. It was a French professor, somebody who came from France, that took him up. Halfway, the person had to leave also. Today, he got his PhD. When he applied, the person at the personnel department who did not really pay attention, when he saw Williams College on his resume, he said, for you to go to Williams College, you must have something distinct. He employed him. He said, I applied to that school, they did not take me. And that lady was a graduate of Harvard. For you to have been as at Williams College, you must have something. God will always be there for you at every crossroad to pass. He has been lecturing. He has, he's now retired. He's a pastor with CAC. Sir, ma'am, I don't know where you think you are. God will lead you. If you only know how to pray and call upon the God of salvation, God will answer you. He says, seek me early, and you'll find me, Proverbs 8. Those that seek me early shall find me. Those that seek me early shall find me. Have you sought the Lord? If you pray for guidance, do you know that Jesus Christ, when he was on the face of the earth, went through every issue that human being went through? 100% man, 100% God. If it's not Pharisees today, it will be Sadducees, Sadducees tomorrow. They always meet to plan how to cause him to fail. It was, Jesus Christ was grieved by them. Even when he performed the greatest miracle ever known at that time, bringing Lazarus out of the tomb after three days, he told them, don't let other people know. Don't let the people in this community. He does not want Pharisees to come and disturb him. He has the same concern that you have. But after three days of preaching, three days of preaching, people had to go back. The Lord had compassion. He said, these people will faint on their way back. I must feed them. Please, can this pastor put you here for three days without going anywhere? Jesus Christ did that. <laughs> he did that for three days. That's what the Bible told us. That means they were sleeping there, waking up. There was no tail pain. There was no... Uh, they were just enjoying the lost sleep. Three days. They were not distracted. But the Lord said, how can we feed these people? He asked Philip, testing him, because he knew what he was going to do. Philip said, <laughs> um, we don't have the money to even buy food for half of these people. But he knew what he was going to do. Wherever you are, God knows what he's going to do in your life. Whatever you are going through, he knows the way out. Please pray. Pray. He will showcase his glory in your life. Ask. 
still work. ASK. Ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, you shall find. Knock, it shall be opened. For it is seed that ask it that receive. If you don't ask, why should it anything be given to you? Because God has learned that when people do not ask and you give them, they will blame you. Adam did not ask for Eve, although he was happy when Eve came. He was happy, he was the one enjoying Eve. But when things went back bad in the Garden of Eden, he blamed God. The woman you gave to me, I did not apply for you gave, is the one that makes us to sin. So you have to ask for God to respond. Ask for direction. Ask for illumination. Ask for enlightenment. Ask for grace. He's able to give it. At the crossroad of life, not knowing what to do, can be very, very incapacitating. They will want to truncate our destiny. You need God to direct you. Because many questions will be coming. What if? What if? What if? That is the question of the enemy. The devil will always raise everything to compound your situation. It will add fear to it. One man of God says, sometimes we could not even sleep. It is like octopus. It is like trying to put octopus to sleep in bed with all those. As you are covering one side, another one is coming up. As you are trying to think, something else is multiplying. Even when the opportunity opens us, you will ask, do I have the skill for this task? Can I do it? The person that was doing before you got there was created by God. The same God is able to give you the intent, the intellect to do it. Don't look down on yourself. Jesus Christ said, Holy Spirit will give you remembrance of what I have taught you and what you have also read. Now, if you don't read, if you don't practice, it's a different thing. Because if you have not read it, if you have not studied, if you have been playing and watching MBA and then it's time for the exam, what will it remind you of? <laughs> but if you are prepared, God will remind you. God is duty for situations. Sir, ma'am, that has that 3021. Has that 3021? Your hear shall hear a word behind you. Say, this is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left, the only thing is that God will only talk to his own. He will not talk to a stranger. He will talk to the one that is acquainted with his ways. Job 22, 21 said, Acquaint now thyself with the Lord and be at peace. Acquaint now thyself with the Lord and be at peace. And therefore good and honor will come to you. He will like your path. He said, you will decree it and shall be established. But you are not God's acquaintance. How can he even talk to you? We even know it is his voice. David walked with God. Anointed to be king at the age of 14. But he never got there until he was about 31. 17 years of running from the worst father-in-law you can ever think of. 17 years of running. In Psalm 27, Psalm 27, he said, I will have lost heart. But because I have believed that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Crossroad will make you to lose heart, but you must believe in the author and the finish of our faith. At every crossroad, if you hope in God, God will showcase his glory in your life. One thing you have to know about life issues, it tends to disguise the beauty that is awaiting you. Every life issues tend to disguise the beauty that is awaiting you. Look at our sisters, our pregnant sisters. It's not easy to carry a baby for nine months. Sometimes they will cook food, they cannot even eat it. 
They wake up throwing up. But every woman with the sense of God will not because of that terminate the pregnancy. When the baby comes to the full term and came out of the womb, the beauty, the love, the grace is there. And in the old age, that child becomes the one that will be taking care of the parent. Life challenges is always hidden. But the beauty will emanate whether the devil likes it or not. It requires patience. It requires endurance. It requires talking to God. But God will never fail you. Trying to quiet our fears might be very difficult sometimes. Many nights that we try to sleep may be tangled with worries. And worries are about families, finances, our own well-being, even our marriage. This is the time we need to pray so that we don't become a prey for the enemy. Nobody has ever told me in my 28 years of being an ordained minister. Pastor, I worry so much. The pollen just drizzled away. Or maybe, let me say it in our local plan. I worry so The problem, don't, don't come diminish. No, no. The problem get compounded with worries, with anxiety. The reason why Philippians 4 said, be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and supplication, make your request known. And the peace of God that passes on understanding shall fill your heart. God knows where you are. He knows. You don't need to announce your presence. If God is asking you where are you, it's not about your geographical location, it's not about your spiritual location. Hayden, where are you? He already know where they are. He came to the Garden of Eden. Where are they are? Why is he asking where are you? It's not about your geographical location. It's about your spiritual location. Where are you with God in, at that particular? Your, the Joshua is there. He will make a way where there's no way. The crossroad will be there. But where is your spiritual location for God to direct you? Why should God make you a millionaire? You have been praying. You've been working. When you do not even have God in your agenda. Why should God bless you when you only be for me, myself, and I? But the one that fulfilled Isaiah 58, that know the person that God has chosen, God is really willing to bless them. He said, is it, verse 6 and 7 of Isaiah 58, he said, is this not the person I've chosen for you to bless the one that is lacking, to feed the hungry, to bring the naked and give them clothing, bring the homeless into your house? Well, now that you have done this, your life will comfort as the morning. Your enemy shall speak possibly. Your righteous center will go before you. And the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Why will God bless you when you are only thinking about yourself? People will call you, and you know that they needed help, and you will, you will hang up. I was told about a brother. In fact, I think it was Pastor Adeniji that was telling the story. The brother was in a foreign country, blessed. And he went home for visit. And one of the aunties and say, ah, we don't guard you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we call you so many times. You never pick up your call. He said, ah, sometimes it's a uh, the network. But we can hear when you see the number, you put it down. He said, go, go and look into that uh, water pot. Water pot. He looked into it. He saw his house in that water pot. He saw the family. And he saw even the dogs. 
Lean Tin Tin, whatever the name is called. They said, just take this broom, put it on that dog. And as soon as he put it, a call rang. One of the daughters called, Daddy, 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 the dog had just died. They laughed. The people of this world, they are wiser in their own way than the people of God. Once you do not know, wherever you bless, know it's a travesty to attack you with, your, with the blessing. If you are blessed and honor God, and you have done enough for selfish purpose, if the person defraud or do anything against you, he has committed a travesty spiritually. The reason why when the wicked, the embali, when they do something evil, like a new magical potion, they don't try it on anybody. They don't even try it on, on an animal. What they will do, they will put a plantain on the ground. The goat will come and eat their plantain. The moment the goat eat the plantain, now he has earned the reason for them to attack him. And they will not try the the, the wicked portion upon that goat. And the goat will just scream and, and, and fall down. Oh, this is a really potent something. They will not do it unless you cause their part. Because they know that spiritual law still rules. I had a story about a woman who was being attacked by a relation. Another person who was a classmate of that woman went, the other person is a Muslim, so he went <laughs> to Annapolis. He said, sir, I have a friend who is sick. This friend is helping families. If he dies, many glory are dying with him, with her. The Abali said, give me the name. The name matches the name of the one that was given to him. He said, they told me that this lady is wicked, that is taking the glory of the husband. So the same Abali started reversing what he has done. And the Abali was now angry with that lady. So you want me to kill an innocent person and then go to hell. Abali believed that if they, don't, if they do the right thing, they will go to heaven. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. It's only Christ that can save you from hell. Mm -hmm. Let us resolve that now. But in their own thinking, as long as you do the good thing, you do not harm the bad person. So the Abali's double called that the other lady. He told the other lady, I have a real portion. If you bring me any money, it will be double in three days. <laughs> The person went and borrowed money from all the banks you can imagine. Wemma Bank, National Bank, and brought the money. And the man relocated from Malaysia. <laughs> Never to be found. Sir, God is watching over his own. You will not be exempted. I want to let you know. David a man after the heart of God has his own issues. In Psalm 61, David said, I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me, O Lord, to the road that is higher than I. That is the prayer that we need to pray. Lead me, Lord, to the road that is higher than me. And Proverbs gave us this understanding. He said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. The one that acknowledge God will have the past straightened. People of God, as the Lord allow me, we will continue on this series. God, there is a lot that God wants to tell us. In Isaiah 43, 1 to 7. Isaiah 43, 1 to 7. God said, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. The same what God is telling you. You are God. Tell your neighbor, you are God's own. You are God's own. 
thou art mine, God said. When thou passes through waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be born, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God. God is your God. God is your upper father. The only one of Israel, thy Savior. He says, since you are precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable. Precious because of the blood of Jesus Christ over you. Precious because you are called by his name. Precious because you are Christ's ambassadors. He said, you have been honorable. And I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him or her for my glory. I have formed him or her. Yea, I have made me or her. God has made you for his glory. And that glory will not tarnish. That glory will not tarnish. Whatever God needs to do, he will do it. He said, I will say to the north, give up. To the south, do not keep back. Whatever belongs to you, you will get it. As I'm rounding up, whatever you consider your demerit is what God will use for your appointment. I don't know how many times Zacchaeus have felt bad about being shot. If you look about the life of Zacchaeus, He's a man that is hated. He was a task collector. Task collectors are normally not liked among the Jews. You are an employee of the, our enemies. You are exerting Roman rule over us. But Zacchaeus knew the weight he was bearing. His children were being poked fun at in the synagogue. His children were being harassed. Look at them. Don't play with us. Oh. The wife, people will say at ah, ah, ease. But this day, Zacchaeus left work. He left the collection table. He heard that Jesus Christ was coming. He ran ahead because he was a short man. And he climbed sycamore tree. If you research, sycamore tree was tough to, to climb than the orange tree. Sycamore tree was very rough to climb. But because of the desire to see Jesus Christ, he climbed the sycamore tree. And guess what? That shortness that made him to climb the sycamore tree put him in a position of delight. A position where God now will see him. Whatever you think is your demand, God is setting you up for your promotion. Because when Jesus Christ got there, he looked up. Zacchaeus, today, salvation has come into your house. I'm going to die with you. <laughs> is that not what God is planning for you? The crossroad, the challenges, the prostration, the bewilderment, the bewilderment is what God is going to turn around for your own beautification. Just look unto him. Look unto him. Pertinently look unto him. And fear not. Be bold. Ask for the impossible. Ask for what God will be challenged. If he can create the whole world. Even universe that scientists were still marveling at. Scientists saw that there were billions of galaxies. And these galaxies were all in their own orbit. They are not colliding. This art that is going fast, if you calculate the speed of the art, every hour, you will have been in Nigeria by the time you finish with that hour. Because art is going at a very fast rate that you can imagine, yet you don't feel it. This art is going at a very fast rate. In every hour, art is covering more than 2,000 miles. He has to do that to be able to go around the circumference of the sun. And that circumference of the sun is 540 million plus. If the distance is, if the radius, the distance is 93 million, 2 pi r 
6.28 times 93 million miles. Check it out. Divided by 365. Thank God for my dad that took me through those rudimentary knowledge of mathematics. 93, point some, 93 million miles times pi, 3.14 times 2. You will get the, am I, yeah, that's circumference. And then divided by 365. You will know that Earth has to cover one point something million miles a day. How many miles is the Earth? So you can see the speed. And it's not colliding with the, with the moon. Moon is also rotating around the Earth. So as the Earth travels, moon has to be catching up. This God is too much. Your problem is very simple for God to solve. Your problem is very simple for God to solve. My problem is simple for God to, go, to solve. God will not leave us alone. As I round up, T.D. Jakes wrote a new book, The Crutching. I love what he was saying on TV, and I ordered for three. I gave two to somebody. He said, you and I will never know God's plan until we look unto Jesus. I have news for you. The one you gaze at is the one that you resemble. Jesus was at a crossroad. He needed to feed 5,000. I have said that. That was my own writing, given by the Bible. He said, I discovered TDJs. I have to allow God to be God. He will communicate with me in the manner he thought best for the moment. TDJs in the book crossing. I have discovered I have to allow God to be God. Don't play the role of God. Allow him to be the director, the shepherd. And God will communicate with you in the manner he thought best for the moment. The way we talk to Sister Deshua is not the way he's going to talk to Brother Chris. The way he talk to Brother Chris is not the way he's going to talk to Sister Yemi or Molly. He will talk to you in his own way for that moment, for that something. So because Sister Omole gave a testimony, don't expect that to be the same way God is going to do my wife or Apostle James. God knows where you are. He knows how he has been working with you. He will talk to you in a way that will be very, very sound, understandable, directly, and glorious. Even if you make a mistake and you think you are hearing from God, even if you think it's the mere fact that you believe you are honoring God, God will still make a way where there's no way. Because there are certain things that happen. I have seen a sister that said, Sir, this man, he was the head of the youth. This person, he was this. He was in the protocol. How can I make that mistake? And yet, there are others that are very good. Even medical doctors that are coming to me. I said, listen, the mere fact that you believe you are honoring God, God will justify you. You may have made that mistake. You may have been expressing this. God will be glorified in that situation. Only Jesus can, can turn water to wine. Nobody has ever done it. Only Jesus can turn water to wine. Turning water to wine, you pass the process of growing, the, purpose, the process of crushing the grape, process of um, distilling, and Jesus Christ did it in a nanosecond. That is God that you serve. That problem that would have taken a long time to solve, when you give your time for him, he will come through for you. TDJs continue. In the eyes of God, he is not free us from, is making us free to do his will. It's not freeing us from, but it's allowing us to do his own will. Proverbs remind us that the motive of what God is doing, the Lord loves and he corrects even as a father corrects the son in whom he delights. If you are in the wrong road, God himself will create a roadblock. That cross will appear. 
so that you can make the right turn. Sometimes it could be a return back to the father's house, like the prodigal son. The prodigal son was at the crossroad. All money expended, all friends gone. He was now eating with the dirtiest of animals. He was eating with the pigs. But he remembered that, ah, I still have a father. And I know what my father's servant were enjoying. Let me just go and apologize. Believe that Jesus Christ is with us today because he's in us and he's in our guiding force. Holy Spirit is in you. The paracleto is in you. The helper from within is with you. Finally, from the book Crushing by T.D. Jakes, if there's anything for God, if there's anything that God has always requested his people to do, it is that they believe in him. If there's anything that God has wanted us to believe in him. Let us rise up and pray.